Sporting vocal jazz since the mid-60s, singer Janis Siegel is best known for being one-fourth of the iconic jazz band The Manhattan Transfer, alongside Cheryl Benteen, Alan Paul and Trist Curlis. Her voice is synonymous with the band's sound and has been vital in their successes. Aside from her collaborative efforts, Janice Siegel has also demonstrated herself as a powerful solo artist with albums, tours and contributions to other artists' work. Her presence, as a result, has become especially prevalent in the genre of vocal jazz and now Janice Siegel is seen as an icon. Janice Siegel was born in 1952 in Brooklyn, New York. Siegel's childhood was defined by the music she listened to, which compromised the likes of John Coltrane, Aretha Franklin and Barbara Streisand. The latter two musicians, Franklin and Streisand, showcase powerhouse vocals which one can undeniably hear in Siegel's music. On the other hand, John Coltrane brought a classic jazz sensibility to the ears of many, and of course, Siegel's jazz style became her staple. At school, Janice Siegel remained focused on music and joined an all-girl group named The Young Generation. Consisting of three members, The Young Generation lasted throughout high school and had released two singles by the time they graduated. The singles It's Not Gonna Take Too Long and The Hideaway was quintessentially pop. Yet, with the live event of graduation, the three of them decided to rebrand and rename their group to the folk-focused Laurel Canyon. At first, Siegel juggled the band and a nursing scholarship before quitting the latter to dedicate herself to Laurel Canyon alone. From Laurel Canyon onwards, Janice Siegel found herself benefiting from a series of lucky coincidences. Firstly, she met Tim Hauser. Hauser at that time was a taxi driver with similar musical dreams to Siegel. Siegel and Hauser were both attending the same party one night, which enabled Hauser to meet Siegel. The two began discussing ideas and upon being given some of Hauser's material, Janice Siegel reached an epiphany about the new genres she heard. Janice Siegel's acquaintance with Tim Hauser quickly led to what would be the early days of the Manhattan Transfer. Along with another two members, Siegel found herself embarking on a new career involving swing and jazz music. Whilst the band had released an album in 1971, this has since not been recognized as a true first album. Rather, in 1975, the band would solidify itself with their debut album, The Manhattan Transfer. Its sound was smooth and well-controlled, where each member harmonized and complemented one another perfectly into a continuous wave of effortlessly produced music. Critics were impressed with Siegel's induction, and this was the birth of The Manhattan Transfer as we know it. Whilst it is often difficult for artists to deliver a striking sophomore effort after an impressive debut, the inclusion of Janis Siegel in the band meant that their career was an admirably consistent one. Within a year, the second album coming out was met with similarly positive feedback and even birthed a hit single. Chanson d'Amour was an especially popular single in Europe, where it went to number one in the United Kingdom. The mixture of sentimental sounds and polished contemporary approach was an instant favourite for many. Furthermore, coming out presented some of the early crossovers Siegel had with other musicians. Some of the songs on the album featured other big name musicians such as Ringo Starr and Michael Brecker, whose unique styles expressed the wide taste Janice Siegel grew up on. There's no doubt that the Manhattan Transfer were and continue to be one of the most essential parts of Siegel's music journey. Since the tender years, the band has morphed into a fiery force whose colorful approach has led to much experimentalism and an abundance of prestigious accolades. Nonetheless, Jenna Siegel has shown herself to be as much a solo artist as a worthy band member. By the time the 1980s came around, Jenna Siegel was embarking on a double career as a Manhattan transfer singer and as Jenna Siegel, the solo singer. Siegel was signed to Atlantic Records and with the help of producer Joel Dorn, introduced her first solo effort, Experiment in White. Jenna Siegel would come to release another seven solo studio albums, the latest being the 2013 Night Songs, a late night interlude. Whilst much of her career signified a distinct double life between a band member and a solo artist, Siegel did not shy away from taking her collaborative efforts to her own solo work. 
She first delved into a collaborative effort with American jazz pianist Fred Hirsch on short stories, and they reunited again six years later with Slow Hot Wind. Hirsch's jazz piano blended into a perfect pairing with Siegel's vocals. However, Janice Siegel has spent much of her career dedicated to diversifying her sound by collaborating with other entirely different artists. One of her most memorable collaborations was with Ilhan Mimoroglu, a classic composer from Turkey. Alongside the Bow Arts String Quartet, Siegel and Mimoroglu released Like There's Tomorrow, a project encapsulating spoken word and music elements. Other duets and collaborations brought music genres such as R&B, world and pop to Janice Siegel's already lustrous discography. Siegel has continued to defy expectations and carry on her reputation for being a very active and creative force in the jazz world. The Manhattan transfer remains just as prevalent as ever, where some of Siegel's most iconic music can be found and heard. Whilst Siegel also uses her solo freedom to produce and tour new material, her sheer experience has been taken to the world of music production. She has contributed her production skills to many artists, but her most known is her work on Jose Marie Chan's offering The Manhattan Connection. This CD is an especially large-scale project, consisting of over 10 vocal artists, including Marlon Saunders and Lisa Fisher, whose voices majestically cover a variety of Chan's iconic discography. Siegel's masterful ear for all types of music has been demonstrated in this particular project, where her creativity has reimagined pre-existing tracks into new, fresh arrangements, which were well received. Another body work from Jose Marie Chan has been produced by Janice Siegel since and consists of a similar setup of several vocals, named Here and Now. Janice Siegel gives back to her community alongside her other band members in the Manhattan Transfer. In more recent years, they have been conducting masterclasses and teaching new generations of musicians to achieve their potential. Her personal life, too, is full of nurture, development, and care for her son, Gabriel. The two of them now reside in Manhattan, where Janice Siegel has begun to spend quality time with her family, as well as with herself. As one of the most iconic figures in the scene of vocal jazz and beyond, Janice Siegel is the perfect example of a self-assured woman in the music industry. Because she never shies away from the prospect of new possibilities, Janice Siegel is a true force of nature. You can check out the Carly of Spotify to listen to the original tracks of the artist. It's a curated playlist with the most popular songs. <laughs>